Hello everybody, it's Audrey Will with your Big Mac and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, we did some more investigation and honestly for our decline here, Mr. Will Powers, I think his name was. Yeah, things are not looking good. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes. Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, oh nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is this is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know, we're going into this try try utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Pyrus is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something we have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that, or lose the trial. This isn't gonna be easy. Yep, so, we have a huge task. Find something. Easier said than done. Let me turn the mic towards it so you guys can hear my lovely voice. Alright, Edgeworth, you piece of shit. No, no, no tricks today. Court is now in session for the trial, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Ersworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the courts. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Ersworth. I wonder if it will be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the, to the stand. Or, or that director. Oh, look, look at that, look at, look at that fucker. Will the witness state his name of his profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob raffle. Salmonella. I'm, I'm a director. Television. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. The powers is innocent. You know what that means. Someone in the tra in the trailer that on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time pu putting on the pressure. What is testimony? The day of the murder. I was at the studios around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the, in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., and according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Alrighty. Okay, that sounds right. Yeah, that sounds about correct. Alright. Let's see. S skipping lunch. Uh, actually, I think there's something wrong with that. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak, no steak at least. Can't you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't, doesn't something about that seem odd to you? It's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd, now that you mention it. Mr. Manella, hmm? Huh? Alright, what, what do you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Wait, wait, lunch there. <laughs> no, er, I, um, eh, uh, good call. I, er, was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat, I suspected as much. So, when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during the meeting. 
I wolfed it down then. A mental image will carry will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a brig, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. Tell Ralph. Let's see. He didn't take a single break? Uh well, yeah. Not 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 a one. Hmm. What's he, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? Well he had an idea. Wait a second. If I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've you've just contradicted yourself. Did you just tell the court that you ate that T bone steak during during the break? Oops! Wow. Well? Um Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess I we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I called the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. <laughs> Uh-oh. Edgeworth is laughing and it's all this bullshit again. Yeah. The fu wait, the, the fuck? I don't know what that acronym, ac acronym means. So... We're just gonna skip that one. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say... Commit murder in Studio One, lol. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. I don't think there would even be enough time for that. That's just me. Very well. You may begin your the cross examination. Okay, so something that's there's something that's bugging me here. First thing first, FWIW. I, I you fuck it. I'm looking. What does what does that fucking mean anyway? Okay, for what it's worth, never in my lifetime has anyone used that. Like 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 I know like I know Raffle usually means. Rolling on the floor, rolling on the floor, laughing or something like that. But and there's also the ruffle copter that goes swall, 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 swall. But yeah, I never seen that acronym. So yeah, so he's being a bit fag there. That's what's bugging me. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm, I'd say it was around two thirty or so until two forty-five. 2.30. Wait just a fucking second. What's the time of death? I guess it's possible time-wise. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It, it was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you're suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it and I claim it loud! If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. Alright, got the judge thinking now. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've, you've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court records. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4 o'clock, the path between stu the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monk Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Whoa, you're right. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. 
the fallen Ms. Monkey's head barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No counter- no counter argue, Mr. Mr. Wright? Then I'm afraid you lose this round. Oh, fuck off! I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. What? What? It's over. Very well. The court's opinion on this case as follows. We have found that there were two several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people have could have gone to Studio 1. Therefore, they have no relation to the case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Seal Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is the deci decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm then I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we have indeed have decisive ev evidence. A witness. My, my witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai secured the victim. Order! I'll have order! I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess after which we will we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Damn, we got a penalty for that. That is, that is fucking, that is fucked up. Well, what do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up! If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. People in the trailer could have not gone to Studio One. I thought there was there was more to it than that. Uh, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we'll prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us, and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, here with the children everywhere, after all. I... you... thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This this one's for the kids. Let's do it. Got it. Man. Order spread construction for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause some unnecessary trauma with, with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth is taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <coughs> He's too small. Your Honor, perhaps he could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should, should do. There we go. Well, the witness stated his name and grade in school. Witness. What? Just cause you're all grown up, d don't mean you can push me around. <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Atkins, I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is gonna be a long, long day. Mr. Earthworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Ugh. Witness, er, I mean Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, er, you were at Global, Global Studios on the day of the, er, incident. You got a, you got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you, tell you and Gramps with, with the beard over there? Just... Mr. Edgeworth is fine. I prefer a bearded gentleman myself. <laughs> a very long day. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in the court in this courtroom. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, you're saying you had a bargain did bargain terms with a kid and you lost? <laughs> hey! I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring with me everywhere I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had the camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of that in the court records. Very well, Cody. 
Please testify to the court about what you saw the, the day of the incident. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. Totally, it totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down, pow. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm, very well. The difference made because it's cross examination. But be gentle, remember, you're talking to a child. This kid's tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Let's see, so, where he didn't have the... Wait a minute. He just mentioned he always had his camera with him. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you, that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? That's all right. A word with you. Uh-oh, I, I was putting the pressure on too much. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did, you did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how poor are you to terrorize a poor child, so? I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? But what? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? So, so you did have a camera, and do you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm, very well. Please testify about the court while you, while you were busy watching. What I saw, this gotta be good. Yeah, yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The steel samurai rules. Ah, uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Hmm. He was a bit vague on the stop moving part. Yeah, so... Yeah, he has camera. He's glued to the action. Fair enough. I mean, like, if I was... I mean, if I was watching the action scene... Like, I... Like, when I was in uh, Disneyland, I saw the, uh... The, what do you call it? That, uh... The Avengers... The Avengers Campus thing where Black Widow and, uh... Black Panther are beating up Taskmaster, which, which, not to go on the same tangent, but the way MCU treated Taskmaster fucking blows, man. Taskmaster was such a, which such a cool characters in the comics, like this. He's this wisecracking uh, mercenary who, who basically just he'll like he'll just watch how Captain America fights. He goes like, yeah, I know how he, I know how he fights, but uh. But in the, uh, but in the movie, they made Taskmaster lame. It's, it's kind of disappointing. But then, then the bad guy stopped moving. So I'm going to, I'm going to question him on this. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick, a samurai and a samurai punch, a samurai chop, a samurai slap, <laughs> something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, pops. How should I play this? Fortunately, I think we're gonna have to press him a bit harder. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah. So what? 
Yet you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated he, what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do who he's, he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murder uses a samurai slash. Mm. My point is, Cody, you may have seen some of the Seal Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order. That's all right. How could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, uh, well, er, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know, you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have, we have a certain that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Your Honor, I have evidence. Ever evidence? I think I know what the evidence is. Because... Why did Cody look away from the fight? Because Cody was trying to take a picture. But, but, as, but as stated here, he's still learning how to use his new digital camera. Here's my proof. What's, what's that, the camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operations. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye, what? What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Great, good job, Phoenix. Cody was Cody was lying clearly. <clears throat> Smart of you to realize that there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right, Cody. There's only one reason why you would you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. Because because having just received your camera, you weren't used to, to using it yet, so you missed the climax of the fight. Correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Yeah, it means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Hody Hack and testify once more. Or very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera? About why you didn't take a picture of this fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my, my camera to take a picture, but the lenses wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That, that's all that happened, yep. Anything strange to that testimony yet? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Hmm... That's a bit vague. I don't know about you. That's all? Yeah, yeah. I told you. I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have once the lens is opened. Then you really not take a picture? Not even once? Now you definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody? Listen up. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. We took a picture. Hey! Bullseye. How, how did you know? I see through all your lies, Hag Cody Atkins. It's one of my powers. Wow, this feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. I don't think so. Cody. What, what, what? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow, you follow with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me, the, giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. Was it... Was it... What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. It was Zan. I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would, you would have... You would just erase it. When you, when you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. 
He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle Steel Samurai has won. Uh, I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? All of his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none, none were taken that day. Order. Retro right. Have you had an ex explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I've, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exact, exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait, no way. Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what, the, and what, and what a truth it is. But, Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the girl what's going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Photos were blurry. No. The Steel Samurai didn't win. I'm, so, I'm starting to remember this case now. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, 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 wait, no. It's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his world, words. There's a reason why he lied and told us about, and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inco inconceivable that the Steel Samurai couldn't be defeated. Could be defeated. How however, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Put order. I will have order. Witness, I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you, tell the court what you saw. I. Ah! Well, good job, Phoenix. You made it. You made a kid cry, Cody. That day you saw the Steel Samurai lose the fight, right? Wow. Okay. Okay. You're right. The Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Wow. Order, order, order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to, the, to your witness testimony, the st Steel Samurai was the one who fell down. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this about? Let's see, how do we word this? Technically, the Steel Samurai was a victim, but so was Hammer. The Steel Samurai was the victim. Let's just go with. If you understand what's really happened, it's quite—it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and laid still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order. So the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying that the man in this costume was the victim of Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was also present at the actions he run through that morning. Thus he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss, Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On, on the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock. I did, did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He already gone to studio before, to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack, Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his, in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh, me? What? Actually, there was one... There was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, photo of my digital camera. What? What? 
show us, show us quick. No way, man. Not even gonna look at me like that. Now, here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mister Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry. This doesn't look like it's proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. The photo's all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? what? Your, Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly. Certainly. I don't say why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in, in that photo. Funny. Uh... I say it's right here. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. But I draw you to your attention to the number on the gate. The number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one. Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edward sees what I'm getting at. But, but, that's, that's impossible. Hmm? Eh? What's this all about? Please explain. Please explain sorry, that I might be shot alone. <laughs> I fucking love this series, man. I'll use the Studio Guide map. The body was found here in Studio 1. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say 1 on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. Studio 2. Here, at, the, at Studio 2. I see, that would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. The path was blocked. The path, the path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could have not gone to Studio 1. Yet, it... Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. I like how Cody shifts those anything. As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting, in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Oh, order! Order. The vents may, may like, makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that, that, security, that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Jack, Mr. Jack Hammer. Ham Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole, samurai, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel, steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did it so to, so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that that's the victim. Mr. Jack Hammer stole the costume. Let's see. We have to. Sh I'm sure we have something. Wait. I think I have proof. You do? You do, you do, Mr. Wright. Now that there's a surprise, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Yes, they do! The empty bottle! This is this is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found it I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping sleeping pearls? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise suspic some suspicion, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Why don't we try fingerprinting the bottle? An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm? I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of, of the bottle. 
Empty bottle given to the judge. Bye bye bottle. Bye bye bye. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacker's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened di very differently than we previously, previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbrag may have been the victim Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did have time to commit to murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is, is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? And also, who killed him? And why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth, hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your, suspic your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well. Court is adjourned. Woo-wee! That was something. Woo! That was a close one. We were saved by by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. But me too. R really? You both seem so so confident. Ha! <laughs> Maybe I should have taken up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Dead? dead. <laughs> of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make a final investigation, but I promise you, we'll find the true killer by, by tomorrow's trial. R right, thanks. Man, man, Will Powers is such a... He's... He's... He's such a good guy. He got screwed over because... Reasons. Well then, that's it for today's episode. If you guys enjoy the content that I do, please consider subscribing, as I'll really appreciate it. Uh, a comment, like, uh, to help the video get pushed on the algorithm. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we're, where we're almost going to finish up this trial. We still have to do some investigations. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next, in the next video. Bye-bye.